Hello everyone, this is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. So I mean, last year I talked about this new branch of science, which is the non-material science, which states that the universe is mind. I shared that in my last post simply because I want to break it up uh, to make it into shorter um, videos so that you get the concepts that I'm trying to relay and make the connections yourself. But in, in regards to the fact that this uh, non-material science is a new branch of science that's coming forth and it's uh, stating that the universe is mind is simply because scientists are going to have to change their points of view because more and more humans will come to the realization that the human's uh, neurological link to the Earth magnetic field is through their own uh, electromagnetic field or aura. And as we come to realize and recognize this invisible world that we are immersed in, which is this universal mind, um, we won't be able to be duped uh, in terms of how this physical world and the universe operates. And what we are doing here is we are learning that uh, our astrological blueprint is the information field in this uh, this, uh, this uh, elect electromagnetic field. That this electromagnetic field actually is all the information or the hologram on which we perceive this physical world. And it provides all the information. It is consciousness. And it is the consciousness in which the biological vehicle interfaces with and senses through the five sense personality. And this electromagnetic field uh, around us is the field that is connected to the earth and is impacted by solar activity. Now I've been talking about solar activity for a very long time. And for those of you who are new here and would like to learn a little bit more about my experiences with solar activity, uh, there was an article written on me in uh, this article here, Solar Flares and Consciousness, uh, back in 2011, and uh, about my experiences dealing with uh, solar flares and solar activity and how it's uh, precipitated uh, my, my personal evolution uh, into knowing the truth of who and what I am. Anyway, I've talked about this a lot in the past, but I am wired to actually look at this kind of information and share. And on a daily basis, I actually look at the Schumann residence and see how things are, are occurring on the physical plane because I do believe that the uh, when the magnetic field is impacted by solar activity that it impacts not only the earth and birds and other animals but also the human being and so this uh, scientists are now finally admitting that humans have a neurological link to earth magnetic field and uh, this came out on March the 19th, 2019. And it's, it's great. So the, basically the, the, the premise was that it was really only migratory birds, sea turtles, and certain types of bacteria counted among the species with this built-in navigation system. But what about humans? According to a new study, humans can also sense Earth's magnetic field. Okay? And this new study uh, took... Uh, group of 35 people, participants, they did brain scans, and only four individuals showed strong reactions to uh, the change in the magnetic field. So I bring that up because not everyone's going to feel the same effects. You're more sensitive to uh, the Earth's magnetic field uh, like us, like people like who are watching this or empaths. Uh, you're going to feel the effects more than some others. And so with the control group of 34 participants, only four individuals showed strong reactions. Uh, so that's interesting to know. And um, the study, um, the four, 34 people were asked to sit in a dark test chamber adorned with large square coils. Electric currents traveled through these coils, changing the magnetic field in the chamber. So you can read this. I'll, I'll post it in the description. but. It's nice to see that uh, scientists finally admit that our uh, magnetic fields are linked to the Earth. So that was good. But the reason why they're doing this is because we are getting a huge, I believe, influx of uh, 
of uh, energies from deep space. And how are people going to account for the fact that, you know, they're, they're being affected and they know how they're being affected. So the scientific community has to come clean about how they're being affected because this human resonance is off the charts, especially last month. I'll show you um, a little bit about um, the HeartMath Institute. Um, did a study uh, back in 2017 of the effects of geomimetic and solar and other factors on humans. And they basically say all biological systems on Earth are exposed to an external and internal environment of fluctuating invisible magnetic fields of a wide range of frequencies. These fields can affect virtually every cell and circuit to a greater or lesser degree. Synchronization of human autonomic nervous system rhythms and geomagnetic activity in human subjects, a newly published study in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health um, was done. But I don't want to read their study because their study is right here and I'll put a link to it. But their information is going to be a little skewed and I like the, another one that I found which was much better. So if you want to learn about the human, human residents, uh, there's a Wikipedia information here, but it's, it's quite vague as well and it's very scientific. But this particular article that I will link in my description, it talks about um, Schumann resonance and, and psychophysical regulation and PSI. And I like this one because it gives you more information. The Schumann resonance is defined as a set of resonant modes of spectrum peaks between 7.83 hertz that's uh, uh, her, uh, the heartbeat of the Earth is 7.83 hertz and 45 hertz. In the extremely low frequency portions of the Earth's electromagnetic field spectrum, the fundamental Schumann resonance is a standing wave in the atmosphere around 8 hertz. Human brain rays are entrained to the pulse, emitting theta and alpha frequencies in the same EMF region. But I think that those frequencies will shift from theta to alpha to delta, depending on where you are uh, in your evolution. And um, yeah, so it's, it's, really, it's really subjective, I, I would say. Anyway, I wanted to bring that to your attention because I also let, um, get space weather uh, alerts. Uh, and the Schumann residence uh, last month uh, this is basically just a graph showing you that the frequencies were way above uh, 62. So this is probably in the 70, uh, 70 degree range. Uh, and this was uh, just last month, uh, the uh, 14th of um, April. Now the Schumann resonance is not up this high right now, but we're going to find it's going to increase again next week. But what happens is, is that if we look here, this um, space observing system is based in Tomp, si Siberia, which is in Russia. It's in a university. Uh, it actually, uh, they study the Schumann resonance. And right now we're seeing it, when this, this part here goes really white all along, um, then it's really very strong and the fluctuations are quite high. So you can see, th if it get, you see more white on the spectrum here, then you know that we're in a very, very high frequency spectrum. Um, right now it's quite normal with the blue and the green. And then um, when you go down here, you can also see the amplitudes. If you go to the amplitude, which is what I just showed you, the amplitude is quite, is, um, is not that, that bad right now. It's, it's pretty stable. Uh, well, it's up to 33, okay, as of the 5th. So that's still pretty high when you have it at the base is uh, 7.83 hertz. But remember in that article it said between 7.83 and 45 is the normal, um, whereas um, the HeartMath Institute says it's quite lower. Anyway, so anything above that is going to be pretty impactful. And this is why we're seeing a lot of changes um, individually and that uh, and be able to manage the energies right now. It's really intense. 
So I'm going to actually do another update video uh, when I actually see this human residence uh, go higher than this, this 33 mark or 45 mark. And I'll show you the comparison and let's see how you're feeling during those times, okay? And the other thing I wanted to mention to you was um, just a little information. I just picked this up, um, but I like some of the things that this one was saying. So we all know that our planet has its own electromagnetic field. It is simply like a magnet with its negative and positive poles, and we take advantage of it for example, when it comes to navigation, because the, the compass will always show us the direction of the Earth's magnetic poles. The animals, for example, the birds traveling long distances, use the magnetic grid as their GPS to find their way to their destination. So again, just as the animals have like magnetic fields, we have them around our bodies, okay? And although there are not so many of us are aware of it, the human body also has this electromagnetic field with the poles. Many think that this is some kind of illusion, a fairy tale, or people who meditate and look for spiritual enlightenment. But the fact is that the scientists can actually measure this field with various instruments. And as a matter of fact, every cell is like a magnet with its electromagnetic field, and the body is just a collective uh, collection of these magnets. So these are our nerves, nerve meridians. The ner we all have those nerve meridians, the acupuncture points. Those are the nerve meridians. And that's where the electrical currents go through and create our electromagnetic field. So we have to learn how to use this electromagnetic field around us. This is the universal mind of God that we individually um, have that interacts with the universal mind of uh the universe so we need to learn how to work with that mind and mold and shape it into what we want so when whenever there is electricity running through the wires then we have also the electromagnetic field being generated around it this is a relatively basic stuff children learn at school and the nerves in our body are like the wires conducting electricity so the nerve and the nerves are the meridians are the wires conducting electricity through us. Without it, your body would not function. But then this nervous electrical activity generates simultaneously an electromagnetic field, which I just talked about. And because there are so many activities going on within every cell, so our body is like an electric, electric generator battery. That's what we are, we're batteries, and we get depleted of our battery energy with its own electromagnetic field. And although there is a lot of misconceptions and lies about aura within the new age and spirituality movement, we cannot completely deny the point that there is energy flowing through our body and that energy flowing through our body. The one last thing I wanna leave you here is that the energy field around the body is not always constant. It is there, but it changes. It moves, it spins, it is affected by all kinds of electromagnetic smog, like cell phones and Wi-Fi. And just like an electromagnetic field around the Earth, some people will have stronger and others weaker energy fields, and this can also be measured. But we know it is also as what having access to any high-tech information instruments. We feel that some people have strong energy and others don't. We may say that they have charisma or they are weak. When your boss comes angry to the office, you feel the electric tension in the air. I bring this up because many of you that listen here are highly sensitive and you know when someone comes into your, your energy space and they are negative, they're affecting your electromagnetic field. So this is a, a good example. When your boss comes angry to the office and you feel the electric tension in the air, it's because he's holding negative energy in his electromagnetic field. It's it, interacting with your electromagnetic field and uh, you're taking absorbing some of that, uh, that, um, that emotion from his. So this, uh, this is his electromagnetic field being char charged up with strong energy of anger and then you feel the difference one who is in a high state of love and you you love you 
embrace their energy of love um, because their electromagnetic field is expressing love. And so you like that. Um, so whether you deny it or not, within your mind, this is the mind. <laughs> the mind is this field that we talk about here. I just use this person's information. Don't, you know, it's no big deal. I just wanted to bring some simple points uh, to your attention. So whether you deny it or not, the fact is that this electromagnetic field is there. And the quality and strength of this field around your body, you can also will also go hand in hand with the quality of your health. If your energy is weak, it's stagnant and is not harmonious or regular. You will also be sick or at least have the tendency to get sick easier than others. So with the Schumann residence uh, impacting, uh, as scientists say, that have an electromagnetic field and our inter field, field interacts with the Earth's magnetic field with the Schumann residence, our hearts are interacting with the heartbeat of the, of the earth and we are going to be affected by the solar activity. Maybe I'll do one on solar activity next because that'll probably help with how um, our, our, how the earth's magnetic field and our magnetic field gets impacted by the solar activity. I'll do an update on that probably next. But um, anyway, I just... Uh, Wanted to leave that with you, and uh, hopefully you're getting better understanding that. Yeah, this uh, field around us is the universal mind, or a, 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 an aspect of the collective mind or the body of humanity, and that when our uh, electromagnetic fields come together, um, we come together in coherence, and whoever has a stronger electromagnetic field, you're going to go into their vibration, and then there's going to be a phase lock. And this is how we can work together in creating worlds. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. I hope this is not way out there for you, but it may be. But I hope you found it interesting. Thanks. Bye-bye.